Hello everyone, in this short webcast we're going to talk about what is mass moment of inertia. And so before we talk about the mass moment of inertia, let us talk um, about the equation of motion uh, because this is easily understood and we um, understand the concept of F, F equals to ma and a is acceleration. So in in equation of motion, if we um, apply a same amount of force into two objects, here one box is one kilogram and another is two kilogram what acceleration or change in velocity will happen if i change this equation here so we see for the same amount of uh, force the acceleration depends on the mass so the higher the mass higher the mass the lower the acceleration so mass here is acting as um, a resistance to acceleration which is um, defined as the equation of m equals to i a where i is the mass moment of inertia a is the angular acceleration and m is the moment so if we have a cylinder here and there is a moment uh, acting m so the tendency uh, the rotational acceleration can be redefined in this this equation so the acceleration depends on the mass moment of inertia in other words the uh, mass moment of inertia is the resistance um, of, of a body against uh, angular acceleration. So in simple words, our mass is um, the resistance to acceleration and our mass of inertia is the resistance to angular acceleration so for a given moment the higher our mass moment of inertia the lower would be our angular acceleration so how do we determine mass moment of inertia if we have this body here um, and um, this body is rotating about an axis which is z that goes through the mass center of that body so we can take any uh, small amount of mass dm so and then uh, the distance of this small amount of mass dm from the axis z is r then mass moment of inertia is defined as the integration of the entire mass um, r square um, and dm the small uh, mass dm so this is called second moment um, because it's a r square um, so if we take the definition of mass uh, and density, so density equals to mass over volume, so we can rewrite this equation equals to uh, r square rho, this is density, and uh, dv, volume. In this case, uh, we have to take integration over vol volume, not mass, so it will be a uh, triple integration. So what are the factors that affects the mass moment of inertia? The first one is of course the mass because it's uh, involved into the equation. Uh, one example could be if we have two cylinders here, cylinder A and cylinder B, both have the same dimension and uh, radius length, but um, only the difference is uh, the different density. So the assume that they have a different density that will lead you to different mass. Uh, and also the axis of rotation is the same. So the different density will lead you to different mass moment of inertia. So the next factor is distribution of mass. So what if the mass of the uh, bodies are the same, but the mass located or the distributed is different. Here, for example, in here we have the same rod uh, and we have weight, for example, one kilogram on both sides. So total three kilogram, that is mass A. And the axis of rotation is the same that is goes through the mass center g here on the figure uh, this figure um, we have also the same weight one kilogram of the weights and same one kilogram rod and the rotation axis rotation goes through the uh, mass center g so we still have the same mass uh, but our um, uh, mass moment of inertia will not be the same because of the uh, distributed distribution location of the masses are not the same that affects the r 
and it will not be the same the next factor is axis of rotation here you see for this cylinder the axis of rotation goes through the um, a longitudinal direction of the cylinder um, though it passes through the mass center on this figure the axis of rotation goes through the mass center but it's on this um, the side of the cylinder and that affects the mass moment of inertia uh, for this one the mass moment of inertia is half m i square so it doesn't depend on the length l but if you change the direction of rotation it depends and uh, now it depends on the radius itself the radius r and also the length of the cylinder the fourth factor is the location of axis so if my axis uh, so far we have talked about axis going through the mass center g what if uh, we're we're uh, interested about uh, the rotation axis that is not going to the mass center or anywhere uh, on the body or maybe outside of the body uh, or at the end of the body uh, the the way to find it out is the parallel axis theorem uh, we're going to talk about this theorem uh, in the next series um, but for now um, if you have changed your axis from the mass center to for example the end for this rod um, the mass moment of inertia at the mass center is 1 by 12 m uh, l, l square but if you move your axis from here to here your uh, mass moment of inertia changes to 1 third m l square the fifth and the last on this list factor that will uh, affect uh, the mass moment of inertia is the shape or geometry so for example here assume that uh, they have the same mass uh, m a and m uh, b um, maybe this one has a higher density or this one has a lower density um, so the mass is same and then also the dimensions are the same the length and the radius the uh, only thing is that this one um, is uh, is hollow so it has a inner radius which is hollow but the mass are same well that also changed the game and then uh, for for that for different shape we will have different mass moment of inertia for a solid cylinder like this uh, with the radius r we will have mass moment of inertia of half m r square and um, for a hollow cylinder uh, we'll have um, half m r1 and r1 square plus r square which is inner radius and outer radius so in this short webcast we uh, briefly describe what is mass moment of inertia and we show you the equation that we can use to find mass moment of inertia and importantly we uh, discuss some factors that may affect the mass moment of inertia that should um, uh, improve your understanding about mass moment of inertia um, next uh, video we're going to talk about parallel axis theorem um, but till then thank you